Hello everyone, welcome to Unicorn Dust Designs. In today's video, we are gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We are gonna play around with paint colors and textures. So to start off the video, we're gonna start here because this kind of leads into the rest of the video. So we are gonna use Mint Chip, Salty Kiss, Liquid Sunshine, Mermaid Tail, and I even threw in some Old 57. I'm also going to mix some salt wash in here. This is a paint additive that's going to add a bunch of beautiful texture to our pieces today. And after I'm done mixing that, we are gonna grab this beautiful urn that I scored for a dollar twenty four at turnstiles this past week and you guys will be so proud of me because i told myself if i am buying it to diy it i actually have to diy it like within the week <laughs> so here we are so i am taking my chip brush and our salt wash mixture and i am going to be stippling this on i'm going to cover almost all of the urn with our custom color and because I'm extra, I'm even going to do the inside of it because the way the like, it spills over like the lip of it, you can see it like looking straight on. So I felt like it had to be painted <laughs> as well. So once this completely dries, I let this dry overnight, but it does dry like in a couple hours. I am going to take Tarnished Pearl. It is one of our whites, but it has a gray undertone. And I am going to fill in all of those spots that I left open. I thought this color was great because I was looking for like bright and white, but the undertone of that gray gave me that stone look that I was wanting out of this. So after I take the tarnished pearl and cover the spots that I left open, I am also going to stipple it over the rest of the green. I want this to look like it has been sitting outside and that it has been weathered and all of those layers of paint are starting to show, you know, through the years. So you'll see right here, I go over my spots that I left open and then I'm going to go over the custom color, not completely covering it, just kind of stippling it on almost like a dry brush if if that works and i am going to let this dry and then i do clear it with diy's clear wax and look at how fun this turned out you guys for a dollar 24 we definitely revamped this urn and gave it new life it's bright it's beautiful and i had so much fun playing around with the colors. I am just trying to experiment, have fun and see what happens. Learn more about like my paint and mixing. I think that's what's fun about crafting. Now our next one, of course, I either make too much or too little of paint. In this case, we made too much, so it's going to be throughout the video. I'm going to take this frame I got at Salvation Army for 2.99 and it had a very flat surface so I thought this would be a great opportunity to add that salt wash texture to it so I'm going to take our original custom color I'm going to stipple this on it's going to almost look like cow print when we are done with it <clears throat> excuse me you guys um, but you just have to trust the process and let it happen I think that's my hardest thing when painting or like you know going into doing furniture is that like I'm a control freak and I want it to look perfect and I feel like letting go of that notion is helping me a lot more now so I mix some more mermaid tail into our original color and a little bit more salt wash I am going to take that, that first layer that we put down, that is still wet. And it is okay if it mixes into the, the layer that we're putting on now. But you can see the color is very close to the first color that we put on. And this color looks absolutely brilliant when it is dry. So 
we are going to go ahead and cover that up. And you guys, as crafters, I feel like we should always be learning and trying. And that is what I am doing here. And I'm just taking you on the journey with me. All right, now that it is dry, we're going to do some more experimenting. So I am taking liquid sunshine. I'm going to mix it with white swan. I love the vibrancy of liquid sunshine, but it was just a little too bold for me. So this is going to dull it down. Look, it almost looks like mustard. And I'm going to spritz a section of the frame. I'm gonna dab off some of the excess of that paint off my brush. And then I am going to go on top of our dry, well, it's not dry, we misted water on it. But you can see that I'm going in circular motions, up and down, side to side. And I am just blending that into the color that is underneath. And if you guys want like a slower tutorial on this, let me know. Um, like I said, I am learning as I go. And I know the more that I do this, the better I'll be able to explain it to you guys. So uh, just bear with me as we are having fun with this. Now I'm taking a paper towel and I'm gonna dab the excess off. So it's just going to pick up a little bit of that yellow, as you can see, and it's going to start showing the different layers of paints that are on there and all the different colors. So I just wanted to show you one more time. We spritz it. We put a small amount of paint on our brush. You could always add more if you need to. And then we are going to be going in all different directions, up, down. We're going in circular. We're going to like feather that out to the corners and then we take that paper towel once again and we dab the excess off and you could also wait and let it dry and then go in with like a baby wipe and wet distress or even a sanding block if you choose to as well once this is completely dry i grab this scraper tool i actually think it's a weeding tool from cricut but it does the job and I am going to scrape some of that texture off to reveal that original like brown color that the frame was just to give it a little bit more distressing. We are going to finish this off with the DIY clear wax. This is how I finished the urn off in the beginning of the video as well. And you can see it's going to darken up our color. And when you see the reveal video, um, I took that right after I was done with this. So when you give your wax 24 hours to dry, it will lighten up just a bit. And because DIY paints are water soluble, I am able to wipe up my back and make it look nice and pretty once again. And look how fun this turned out. I just popped some Roy Cycle Decoupage paper in here and I, I love it. I love the color combo. I love the texture. And this gives me hope for possibly doing like a furniture piece like this. So I hope it inspires you guys to have more fun with like your paint colors and your textures as well. For our last DIY, I also, you guys just thrifted these last week and I'm already DIYing them. So proud of myself. These were also $1.24. Obviously they were some kind of planter at some time and these literally like way like a brick. They're so heavy. I decided to make these farmhouse cause I already had these resin molds done. So I am going to adhere them with my tight bond wood glue and some hot glue. For the second one, I'm gonna use the little piggy. Now in this mold, I think I do have it in sock. It comes with a piggy, sheep, cow, these little hay, bundles and then like a bundle of flowers i think it is we're once again gonna take our salt wash mixture and i am going to stipple this on i do after the green was dry go in with that like um, that blue color that we made for our frame and i do that on the bottom the sides the top everywhere look at how beautiful that color is i'm now gonna go in with white swan I'm gonna do a dry brushing for the most part, but as you can see right here, I'm going to kind of frame out the planter by going heavier around the outside of it. And then I get my brush and whatever is kind of left on there, 
I'm going to brush and stipple over the remainder of the planter. And again, I do this everywhere, even on the bottom. If you're going to resell, do it the right way and cover your entire piece. All right. So this, I'm just showing you that like I covered the entire front of it with the white paint as well. I cleared this one with uh, DIY's liquid patina to get that matte sheen still. And then to cover that nastiness, I'm going to take Spanish moss. I thought this was, if I had like sheets of moss, I did like that look, but I thought this looked more kind of farmhouse-ish. And then I stuck some sunflowers in there as well. And I think this is nice because I feel like anybody could take those sunflowers out if they wanted to replace them with florals like throughout the year. They could even like nest a little bird on the left side there, but I had fun. I don't usually do like farmhouse decor, but these came out cute. And hopefully somebody that loves this style wants something bright and beautiful in their home for spring and summer. And you guys, for those of you that are waiting for the IOD restock, I just wanted to let you know, I do have the apothecary labels coming, all of it. I have all of it coming, but the apothecary stamps, these conservatory molds, these are completely sold out on the warehouse. So once my stock sells out, I cannot get any more until May. The same thing with this lattice rose paint inlay. Once my stock is gone of these, I can never order more because they are already sold out on the warehouse as well. So you guys, thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. If you guys can please like and comment, subscribe if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. And thank you to all of my members for supporting this channel. It means the world to us. Bye you guys.